I broke some arborist ropes and I'm completely shocked at the numbers. Uh, I've been asked many times to break arborist gear on this channel and so why not start with ropes? We got a half inch rope, a well, well used half inch rope from Cody Zimmerer. And when I pulled it, just with figure eights on both ends, it broke lower than a dynamic climbing rope that's around 9.8 millimeters. Now keep in mind, this thing is almost 13 millimeters thick and it's breaking like 30, 40% lower than just like a 10 mil static. It's breaking so low in the 2,700 pounds of force or even 2,500 pounds of force range. And I couldn't believe it. So I talked to my local arborist friend here in Washington, Corey Grossman, and he was like, hey, I can get you some new rope of the same material. And so I was able to repeat all these tests with a brand new rope. And in a figure eight, it broke at 21 kilonewtons and 20 kilonewtons, which is substantially better, which makes me feel better that <laughs> these big ass ropes don't break super, super low. And in a stopper knot, it broke at 18 kilonewtons. And we did that because we were really, really limited on the amount of rope we had, but I also find it interesting. It broke slightly lower, but with all stopper knots, it's virtually impossible to untie after pulling it to failure. Now the new rope wasn't quite double as strong as the old rope, but it does show how much the micro tears in these fibers are degrading the rope. Now keep in mind that a 10.0 static, the white rope that I'm constantly using in this channel, the thing that I did the Dan Osmond rope jump with, the thing that I haul with on big walls, my workhorse of 10 millimeters static rope breaks at 18 kilonewtons pretty consistently. So just to give you a little perspective that this 13 millimeter rope isn't really breaking any higher. Cody also sent me three quarter inch double braided bull rope. This stuff is burly and I quote, brought it up to 10,000 pounds multiple times. So it's well used. Now I'm wondering how he brought it up to 10,000 pounds multiple times if it basically broke at 20 kilonewtons, which is only like 4,500 pounds of force. Now these were well used ropes again and I did not break test new versions of this. Now I've been bantering with some rope nerds who have also done research. It's interesting that they brought up that the bigger and the more static the rope is, the, strong, it, the stronger it isn't. Basically, because these ropes have to take these bends to be in the knots, that their fibers are tearing, very much like a strong man tearing a phone book. They're doing it kind of one page at a time. And well, real strong men, I guess, rip it in half, but you know what I mean. And I think the rope is doing the same thing where those outer fibers are tearing first and it just rips, rips, rips all the way through the rope. Now, I'm not saying you should use an eight mil or a 10 mil static climbing rope for your arborist work. It is nice when you're wrapping that stuff around with all those trees and the bark and the abrasion that you actually have some rope to work with. It's not just for the ultimate breaking strength for, for how to untie it and the fact that it can withstand so much abrasion. Now we will be breaking into knot videos in this channel where we break test the figure eight and the bullen in a way that you can compare the two. I know I kind of mixed the knots here, but that was based on rope length that I had. But in case you don't want to wait for that, the bullen's easy to untie. Stopper knots you'll never untie and figure eights can probably be untied with a hammer. Be sure to put some cool arborist rope stories in the comments below for our entertainment. Cheers.